mega churches and, and, and denominations have really ruined in America what we think a church is. And this hasn't been going on for very long. It's only about 100 years ago that we actually first had mega churches in America. J. Frank Norris was a very famous, independent, fundamental Baptist preacher. And he ended up, he, he was in several different churches over time, and he ended up taking the church in Fort Worth, Texas. J. Frank Norris was a man that was known by, by being angry. He was sued several times for slandering other pastors. He, he lost a lawsuit, a libel of $25,000. He shot a man in the church, in the church office. He literally shot a man that was a Catholic. He was accused of arson twice, of burning down his own building because the city would not let him rebuild or demolish portions to rebuild the way that he wanted. So this guy was very controversial, very known as an angry man. He, he was not very good at organization. He had a lot of problems. But he was a mega church pastor. He was the pastor of a church in Fort Worth and also in Detroit. And sometimes he would take a train or a plane and try to fly to the other church and have service in both areas at the same time. And listen, according to the Bible, he was not the pastor of both of those churches. He actually had a man on the ground that was the leadership of the church. They ended up calling him the co-pastor and, and he did a lot of great things for God. But J. Frank Norris was the big name. J. Frank Norris, they say he only preached in his Detroit church about ten times out of the year. Now, wait a minute. If he's called the pastor, how can he only preach ten times a year and still be a leader, still see the eyes of, his, of, the, of the, the flock, if you will? You know, pastor means shepherd. There was a lot of problems with him. He was more worried about traveling and increasing the size of his school and his ministry, and he actually died in Jacksonville. J. Frank Norris, the first Baptist mega church pastor, that pastored multiple churches, died of a heart attack in Jacksonville, Florida. And a lot of the things that he did ended up, I believe the Lord destroyed it because he didn't do it biblically. He didn't abide by God's plan. He was known as being an angry man and the fruit of his ministry can be seen. Uh, I believe he was biblically disqualified for his railing and his, his poor handling of money. There were several internal people that had uh, you know, brought to the points that he was misusing funds for whatever he wanted to use it for that week. And, but, but really, but not physically being present in the church, he was this big name that traveled the country and he always wanted to be known as the guy. And he was always somewhere else preaching instead of his local flock. And that's not good. That's not what the Bible teaches a pastor should do. And, you know, if you can't see the eyes of somebody, again, they're not your church member. If you can't see the eyes of somebody, they're certainly not your pastor. You know, local leadership has to be approved by local people. This is very important. It's how it works in the Bible. 